uh, Honga Mandel interference is the kind of standard demonstration that people use in order to uh, show that they've got uh, interference between genuine single photons uh, and not something like thermal states or just uh, dim coherent light. Uh, the way the Honga Mandel effect works is that uh, first off, two photons will enter a beam splitter. If those photons are distinguishable from one another, meaning that uh, they're slightly different either in uh, frequency or difference in arrival time or maybe a difference in spatial mode, uh, those photons will act independently of each other and they will each have a 50-50 shot of uh, either leaving the, leaving the beam splitter uh, separately from one another or leaving the beam splitter uh, together. Uh, but what happens if those photons are completely indistinguishable from each other is that those photons will always leave the beam splitter together. Um, they'll either go or, or all go left or they'll all go right. Uh, the way we can detect this happening is by uh, placing detectors at the outputs of the beam splitter and watching for coincidences. That's when both detectors go off at the same time. Uh, as your photons uh, go towards indistinguishability, usually uh, in uh, arrival time, um, you will see a reduction in the number of coincidences uh, between your detectors. Uh, what you're ideally looking for uh, when you've got single photons is uh, a reduction in coincidences below the limit of 50%. Uh, this 50% limit uh, is uh, due to the, the absolute limit in reduction that you can see when you're dealing with uh, either coherent light or thermal light and uh, not single photons. Uh, 